Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. And today we're talking about self-pollinating your lemon tree. I live in an area where I have to bring the lemon tree inside during the course of the colder months. And we're going to show you how to self-pollinate using a couple of little pink brushes. As you can see here, we've got lots of flowers on our Meyer lemon. And you can use a Q-tip, you could use a paintbrush, but the thing is you want to get the pollen, which is right here on these little anthers. So here's the pollen. And if you just kind of get it on the end of the brush and then move it to the pistil, which is the female reproductive part. So the male and female reproductive parts are right on each individual flower. But what you're doing is, is you're moving the sperm from the flower here over to the ovary on this flower here and that will help pollinate it. Now I have a ton of flowers. I actually probably don't want all of these pollinated because there's no way that this particular uh, tree could handle all those lemons. But nevertheless, you can see all of these and we've got to do this by hand. It's Christmas Eve, but it's warm enough to be able to do this outside. I was filming the video and I thought, why not bring it outside? So again, stamen to stigma, get those little pollen sacks on the edge there, get them onto a different flower and just mix the pollen around. It's not that hard. You can really see how beautiful that pollen is. Imagine a bee coming in here and just going flower to flower. Look at the brush. You can actually see the pollen grains right there. You can see here all the beautiful pollen right here on the stamen and these little filaments here and we'll just get some of the pollen on the brush and then we'll move over to another flower just like a bee would do and you just want to get it in the middle part right the stigma and you can feel it i feel that it's sticky and you just kind of do that on these different flower parts and moving pollen from one spot to another it's not that hard remember the stigma, the top of the female part of the flower needs to be sticky so that the pollen can stick to it and pollinate it and will get those ovaries to swell and create a lemon. So that's really the important part and that's why we showed you with the little paintbrushes how to do that. Of course, you could use Q-tips or something else as well. You could even take one flower off and just kind of do it manually. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.